My name is Rich Schmidt. Uh, we're here with Jimmy Layden. Uh, Rob Stewart is also here. It's uh, June 12th, 2018. We're in Jimmy's home in Banks. And my birthday. And it's Jimmy's 97th birthday today, okay. so happy birthday to you. <laughs> okay. Uh, and Duke the dog is also here to help. Yeah. Uh, so let's start with, uh, we'll start with how you got into wine in the first place. Why did you, why did you choose to do wine? I, w I was in the, in the East. I was in, you know, outside of New York City, and uh, 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 I had a wine, I had a small planting, and I, w I remember going up to go, uh, up to, um, up to Connecticut, where there was a, um, uh, I, I could get some netting mm -hmm. that I could put over the for the birds because we had those in Chappaqua and uh, and I got that down and got that all strung up over the top I mean this was a project <laughs> but it, it got down it wasn't that big but uh, and that that's when it all started and I got grapes from up in uh, uh, what's the grape country out east um, the, 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 the Finger Lakes? Finger Lakes area, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I, would, I remember driving up there and uh, picking grapes up there uh, and carrying them all down in a, the, the back of a, a Ford, not Ford station wagon? I don't know, a station wagon anyway, and it loaded down in a uh, <laughs> well, that was that was the beginning, but anyway, so we, we made uh, made some wine there, and uh, uh, well, as a stimulant, why well, I would I remember going down to the Bronx Market, where they bring the guys come in with the grapes from the California, and they uh, they come in with petty serres. <laughs> and he says, "Make a nice glass of wine, Petty Sarah." <laughs> and so we would, uh, you know. So I, I and you he had a box car, and you, you would drive up. Had a ramp going into where the grapes were, and you go in and you got your hundred, two hundred pounds, or whatever it was, and uh, and that's where it all started at, at the Bronx Market. <laughs> Was that during Prohibition? No, no. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, Jim. Yeah, okay. Well, it could have been, but uh, 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 no, it was it was it was something else. Okay. Uh, but anyway, and uh, all these uh, guys would come in, uh, and they 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 would uh, uh, buy a, a whole train, a whole carload. And then they'd come down, and then they'd marshal their stuff around and give it, you know, to various people. And well, that, that's where that started. And then I, from there, we, uh, we gravitated up to the Finger Lakes, where uh, there were several wineries. And uh, then inside of that area, there was a, a fellow, oh, gee, what is his name? He, he's an old-timer. Frank? Huh? Frank? Frank, yeah. How do you happen to know that name? I'm from New York too. Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Doctor Doctor Frank. Was it Frank or Frank? And I can't remember. No, Frank. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, I said, you know, get, I wanted to get some grapes. And he said, well, okay, you come, you come on, we'll, we'll get some grapes. He said, but <laughs> so what we did was we. We uh, he he gave us the the bags or the boxes or whatever it is. Says okay, you pick some grapes. So we picked some grapes and we brought them in in there and and that was where that that started. Mm. And he said, now that you have picked grapes, well, you qualify to have the grapes. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was very straight ahead, and uh, but a, a lovely guy, and um, so and he and his wife were. Had, they'd, they'd come from from Russia. Russia, yeah, yeah. So that uh, that's where that that got going, and then from there on, you know, in and out of all kinds of situations. I won't, uh, I can't remember <laughs> that much, but uh, and so 
then later on when we uh, got our, our little spot there going and made, made some wine, which was pretty grim, but uh, it was, uh, but it was ours. <laughs> so that, that makes it okay. Um, but l later on, um, uh, when I was teaching, I was at school. Uh, well, I was in, well, I was in the city doing arranging, music arranging, and uh, but uh, and I, uh, a job opening at the school came along, and the, the the boss came over and said, you know, why don't you come along? You you know what you know what you're doing, and. Uh, uh, I said, well, what do you want me to do? He said, well, teach music. I said, okay. <laughs> so I, I taught music there for a bunch of years, but all the same time making a little wine on the side. So that's, that's the, the short of it. Okay, we left there. That was, that was New York City? Yeah, okay. New, New York City, no, New, oh. York, New York. Okay, it was, okay. It's a little, a little place outside of town okay. called Chappaqua. Okay, Chappaqua. And, uh, it was a, a great spot to grow your kids up, and uh, and we had uh, all kinds of stuff going, but uh, but ended up well before before we left there. Why well, I, I had written a bunch of shows uh, for for the school and uh, with with a friend, a very competent friend, Lee Benjamin. And uh, he, so I, I sweated through those things, and, and we produced the shows at the school. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was uh, a bunch of years, and we did, and I've got some of them right there on the wall behind you. <laughs> there are parts for them. Uh, and anyway, we went overseas with a steel band, uh, in in uh, 50, 6, 70, 71 and 73, or 73 and 75, I guess it was, and uh, we toured in Russia and Poland and, uh, and with, with this, uh, these 11, 12 kids and, and Helen and, uh, and Wendy, uh, so anyway, that was that segment, and we went to we went twice to to uh, to Europe, mm -hmm. and uh, and had quite an interesting time. I broke my leg. And, oh. and How'd you do that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, what did? Oh, 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 yes, I do know. Mm. <laughs> But you know, it was in the it was in in the bus traveling. We're going from and I the, the, I was in the in the, in the row, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I mean in the the aisle. And the bus driver stops very suddenly oh, because no. I, I, somebody ran right in front of him. So jammed on the brakes. I go over the top, and and anyway, that uh, got to be a little problematical. And. Uh, so I was uh, they coming out of there. Why uh, I was uh, I had oh I broke my shoulder, not my leg. My goodness, and uh, uh, so um, I ended up with a, a doctor in 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 the little town where we were. I forget what it was, but he said, "Well, I can't uh, I can't I can't set this. So uh, you have to go over to Iash." Which is in R R Russia, or right on the edge of Russia, uh, and uh, he said the hospital. So he, you know, wrote out what it was necessary. But anyway, and uh, so I rode in a in a guy's pickup truck <laughs> uh, f across the top of the bottom of Russia, or the top of Russia, or whatever it was, and uh, got to a hospital. And they had uh, very nice people, and. They put me in, and they made a cast for me by using plaster of Paris, and, and you know, in rags and stuff, and, and just packing it on like this, and so that locked me in. <laughs> and I stayed with that until we got back to 
to Chappaqua oh sometime later. And, uh, but that, that, was, that was quite a trip. And uh, nobody, nobody got hurt except me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, that, that got us back to, to Chappaqua, which was the, uh, the end of my time there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the steel band, we dissolved and uh, we packed all our stuff in a Ford station wagon and, uh, uh, and uh, Wendy rode with us and we drove t to Portland. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, wh and why did you, why Portland? Uh, well, my brother was here and he was a conductor, the uh, uh, Pops, Pops conductor for the, for the, the symphony. Okay. And so, uh, he said, come on out, I can use you. So that was the, the thing while okay. we went. And well, all that tr trades into getting here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once here, then I started looking around and uh, I had made arrangements to uh, visit a couple of wineries. Mm -hmm. There were seven at the time. And I, I could only cover three. <laughs> and uh, who... Anyway, good memory. <laughs> it's what it's what's left of it. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, we visited down there. Oh, I might I might say, it rained from the day we got off the plane in 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 Portland in Portland for the entire seven days, and never stopped raining. And we we drove in the rain. I said, are you sure we want to get out here? This, this is such a soggy place. But uh, uh, we had committed, so here we are. And uh, things got better. <laughs> the sun came out eventually. <laughs> yeah, it stopped raining. But then we have days like this. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so beyond that, uh, uh, that's when we set up sh shop here. And... Uh, I I got some uh, I got some starts from him from Richard Summer yeah and some Riesling and uh, planted them and uh, but they were just you know half a dozen or whatever it was but anyway so we we got going on that and I there were some other places where you could buy grapes and I can't remember them now but but uh, so we started uh, started the vineyard. Uh, along with the Christmas tree operation. And the Christmas trees you see over here <laughs> to my left and over there to my right. They're a little big. Uh, they're a little large <laughs> and they haven't stopped growing <laughs> for some reason. Uh, they didn't get the word. <laughs> but so uh, and so at, at one point well, we chopped down a bunch of them to make, make room and I uh, was selling those too. So. And a couple of those deals went went sour, and the guy that was uh, harvesting the trees ran off with all the money, <laughs> and, uh, and that's when Helen said, "I think we're not going to do trees anymore." <laughs> so, uh, uh, it uh, and uh, do you remember how you chose the spot? How you picked out this land? Oh yes, I do. A very very. Uh, very well. I was I was looking all over the place, and there was a spot up here, up north of here, or toward the coast, and another spot, and some spots down uh, below, uh, north of Greenville, but over in the woods, kind of beautiful, some beautiful land, you know, it, which could be made into a, a, a thing. But then I started to think, wait a minute, you got to go to Portland. <laughs> on a fairly regular basis, that that may not work. So we, we bagged that one, and uh, and uh, the guy who was showing me around uh, was a real estate guy over in in Beaverton, mm -hmm. and he said, "Well, look, I, I know somebody who's got some land, and she's getting pretty old. She's in her nineties at least, and uh, let me talk to her. He he used to live over." In, uh, somewhere between here and and uh, 
five mile radius <laughs> over mm -hmm. there somewhere. And he uh, said, I used to be over there and I could look, look over here to the north, northwest and see this house which sat right there, which is the house is down here. Oh, the little red one down at the bottom of the hill? The, down, right down at the bottom here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and, uh, and he said, let me talk to Mary. And so he talked to Mary and he said, you know, you've got all this land. We could, you could sell some of this stuff and have a nice retirement. You could go live in a home or do something. You know, she was really old then. And she said, well, okay, I guess I could sell. I'll sell half, you know. And uh, uh, so indeed we, he arranged that and we got it. And uh, we have it. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so I have somebody, somebody who could, f f I, I met somebody who could farm mm -hmm. it, from over in, in the, just over in the valley here. And um, so that got taken care of. Mm -hmm. Then the planting. Oh my, the planting. Yeah. Um. <laughs> 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 Next one. <you> know. <laughs> These are grape plants, and they're not very damn big, you know. But so this just look like you know, it looked like somebody had spread marbles or, or uh, matchsticks, I say, around the uh, around the area which I and there was we didn't do that much to start with, but it, it got bigger and bigger and bigger and and. Uh, to, to where it is now, and we're we're maxed out, and uh, it's 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 very satisfying to see it. Good. I I uh, am I'm I'm glad I, that I can see still see it, but I, I can't use it. I mean, I can set it, give it to Rob, and he can give it to somebody else or whatever. However, that works. And in the meantime, why we were selling to. Uh, this is early on. Mm -hmm. We're selling to, uh, uh, oh gee, well, name of me. He, the Trudy and uh, Trudy, and but that's not all. Um, but uh, but, the, but, uh, but uh, the Campbells. The, the Campbells. At Elko. Yeah. The Erath. Erath. Um, Soko Blosser, maybe. Yes, yeah, Soko Blosser. Ponzi. So, Ponzi. Irie. Irie. David. No, Irie didn't. No, he was. He had his own. He had his own thing. Yeah. But so we were, you know, nickel and diming to all these different mm -hmm. places, and. Uh, that was okay. It got a little, but I was driving the truck, so <laughs> you know. I remember those days. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, oh, well, going down to your place, uh, down at Dick's. Dick Eras. Uh, Eras. Yeah. There's the back road from coming down from here, mm -hmm. and and you start in on the back road, and it's nice, and it climbs up here, and it goes along, and it, it goes up here. And all of a sudden, there's a curve that goes absolutely like, like 90 degrees, and then it comes around, uh, all the way around, so you're going you know, okay. the other way around, and, and in a curve, and a rise. And I got into that, and the, I had a load that was way, I figured it was right at the top. Oh, no. And I said, I'm not going to make it. This is going to be dumped in the road. So I backed all the oh, way road. down. <laughs> All the way down to the other road, and then got off and went into all the way around the other way. All the way around the other way, and came up the back, the regular road. Yeah, so you came in the backside of Warden Road. Yes, Warden Warden, yeah. It was really windy. The umfleets are there. Yeah, yeah. but that that first curve was was the doozer. <laughs> you, you just with the load I had, which just looked like it was a little bit this way, uh -oh. and we're going to be turning <laughs> left anyway. Yeah. That may not be such good news. So um, mm -hmm. anyway, that was the end of that. That was a good decision because I know another guy from Eastern Washington who was delivering some grapes to Dick, and he flipped his load <laughs> right there. Right there. Yeah, it was a mess. Well, <laughs> thank goodness I was. Um, Perspicacious. <laughs> uh, my. Anyway, so that that was when I. That's when we got together, 
and so we were doing that kind of back and forth for a bunch of years with with Dick, uh, and uh, they they were good they were good good times, mm -hmm. and uh, you were new. I was new. Yeah, <laughs> and so uh, anyway. It, we survived, mm -hmm. you and I. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what about your winery that you wanted to do? Oh, geez, I'd forgotten all about that. You know, somewhere along the line, why I had I had hopes of, and I had a, a guy draw a, draw up um, plans for for the whole thing, and it, it went along. It was halfway down the hill here, and it was going due east west, and it it had some you know some usable situations for, for, for delivering and whatever. But uh, what happened to that? I don't know. It, 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 it was, did the county say you can't build it? But you no, 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 no. It was just uh, reality. <laughs> oh. I, 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 think, uh, I think it represented more than I was able to, to deal with it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, so. When you were starting to plant here, how did you decide what you wanted to plant and how much of it? <laughs> no. <laughs> it, that's not something you decide. Oh, I see. You, know, you, find, you find stuff and you say, well, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll take a, a hundred of these plants or something. And so you get them from a couple of the places down, down below and you put them in and uh, then you realize that uh, uh, you know, you want something else in here, and so, and you end up planting a whole, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I mean, varieties, mm -hmm. and eventually, why well, you start to pare down. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, and then we had a uh, early on, we had the high trellis as well as the the other one over there, and uh, uh, and. That went along. With, oh, we must. Well, I'm sure we had some trouble, some mold or rot or something somewhere along the line. Everybody has it at some point. But uh, um, uh, we survived, <laughs> so we kept on going, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, the, the garden turned into not a garden anymore, <laughs> but into a, a, a vineyard, yeah. and. Uh, and long well, in, in the middle of all this, why Helen passed away, and that was a, a very unhappy time, very sad. Mm -hmm. And uh, but um, we have great memories, and we did a lot of good things. And we would go down to Rob's when we, you were finally ensconced in your own place, and uh, and uh, I remember. Tasting the goodies mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> and and work uh, and oh oh your daughter's name oh Charlotte says Charlotte. happy to tell you happy birthday from her oh well Charlotte I I met and fell in love with Charlotte <laughs> the first day there I was there and uh, she she was always an attraction to me and and we got along real fast and I what I where when I first met her, why, she was sitting in the middle of the of the floor, one of the down at one of your places, sobbing, and uh, and uh, so I sat down with her and just talked and talked on and kept on going. We got her sorted out and up 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 upright, and mm -hmm. she went on. Her, I forget just how it all worked, but it was uh, it was very very satisfying <laughs> that I could you know be a part of something. You know, besides a, a patron. Sure, <laughs> sure. Uh, she uh, she said that she hurt her knee, and you said, "Well, I have a bad knee too." <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well, she remembers, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, so there we were. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! But anyway, she was, she was, uh, she was my 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 light, not not a lightning rod, but my bellwether down there, and. Uh, and uh, when I would show up, uh, when she were there, why she'd come over and we'd kind of hang a little, and then she'd pull me over to show me something, and you know, and it got more general as, as time went on, sure. and she grew older. But 
I, I shan't forget her. <laughs> and, uh, how did you How did you go about making relationships with the with the people like uh, Dickie Rath and the Ponzi's and the Campbells? How did you meet them? How did they know you had grapes? I think uh, it was probably uh, well. We had a, 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 a grape gathering or a, a place over in in. Um, Beaverton, mm -hmm. where we had some sort of a, uh, a meeting, great growers. Okay. And uh, I, I remember uh, uh, some of the, I don't know who came, but, but they would, the guys would stop in, uh, and, uh, and, but there was, we had, a, oh, I don't know, about 25 or 30 people I know, involved, and I, that's, that's sure. that's gone. <laughs> Uh, but uh, um, her, um, so yeah. So anyway, the, how did I meet them? You yeah, said? I was just curious how you, how when, once you got here, how did you establish your business? Oh, uh, <laughs> establish a business, man. That's that's pretty heavy. <laughs> I don't know that. I don't know we established anything. We just started. <laughs> uh, the um, uh, I can't I can't answer that. That's okay. Uh, I mean I don't know how to answer it. Uh, this is the other thing where I I get uh, a little bit tongue tied mm -hmm. because the the um, my facility with words is is frustrating me. Uh, and it, uh, it, when I had a stroke, where well, that kind of <coughs> everything with, me. and so I, you know, I can't do this, I can't do that. That's and, okay. And I got a walker, and a, you know, <laughs> this stuff like that. I'm pretty good for '97, I'd say, Jimmy. Huh? Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, I. No use complaining, <laughs> you know. <laughs> who, who, who was that? I got plenty of nothing. You remember that movie? Or that I mean, I mean that show? I got plenty of nothing, nothing plenty for me. Oh, 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 you have, you didn't, oh, you have, you have, uh, <laughs> uh, Porgy and Bess. Oh, okay. And I remember going to, uh, my dad got tickets for Helen and me to go see Porgy and Bess. And that has never left me, mm -hmm. and it just, uh, and it was so, and this was an all-black cast, except mm -hmm. for, uh, you know, the, the sheriff or mm -hmm. the, the coroner or whatever it was, but uh, uh, it, it just, and, well, anyway, great, great experience, and uh, so, so let's, let's, let's back up a little bit and talk about your pre-wine career. You mentioned a little bit about your music taking you to Europe. Um, how did you get into the music business to start with? Well, uh, I graduated uh, out of the... I was, I, I was a pilot mm -hmm. it, 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 at Penn State in, in a program mm -hmm. uh, to learn how to fly. And Sherm Lutz was our boss, and uh, uh, and Bob Isler. Wow, these names come back. Was his helper, and so the two of them ran uh, Lutz Frying Circus, <laughs> and uh, and they had a, a program for teaching mm -hmm. uh, students, and I, so I, I I I signed up for that and and uh, went out to the lessons on the rest, and I learned how to fly, uh, sort of. <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, I, I survived, but, but uh, then the war came, and, and I, was, um, I would, had, the idea was that I'd signed up to take this thing with him, and uh, that in, in case of emergency, why well, <laughs> he mm -hmm. would go to go to go to bat for the, to the team, and so that came at the end of my senior year, and uh, so directly from there, I the Navy was coming by, 
and uh, they said uh, we're, we're and they were setting up a flight program mm -hmm. so of course I was fit that key <laughs> very well sure uh, and uh, ended up going down to uh, uh, North Carolina uh, to pre-flight school and then from there we got uh, uh, when we graduated from there why we uh, we got sent to Corpus Christi and not all of us they, they sent some to Chicago and some to some other place I don't know but I ended up in Corpus and so I spent th th three years there and became an instructor mm -hmm. uh, of instruments and oh my that was yeah that was great stuff <laughs> yeah and but i learned how to fly which was you know from standing upright to standing <laughs> to nose down uh, but uh it was a, a, gr a great a great time it was full of we we got married in the middle of that. Yeah, how did you meet your wife? At school, okay, Penn State, and uh, she was this cute little girl, and that's that's how it started. <laughs> uh, and we were in a, in a thespian group, so we were in a acting mm -hmm. uh, capacity of doing doing shows, mm -hmm. writing music, and doing shows, and one thing and another. And she was she was in in in, the, in, in at school there with me, and so let's see what happened. I uh, I graduated and I was gone uh, the next day to North Carolina, and she stayed. She had a year to go, mm -hmm. so she was back f finishing up there, and and. Then when all that happened, I ended up going to Corpus Christi, and then from Corpus Christi, we came back, uh, I came back, flew back to, uh, to Penn State, and we got married there. Nice. And thus began that whole saga, <laughs> which was uh, very, very wonderful. Uh, <laughs> wow. Okay, well, so that involved a lot of a lot of traveling, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, and we were I was a number of years at Corpus, and then they they pulled me out and uh, we were sending me for instrument flight, so I did that, and uh, ended up where did I end up this time? <laughs> anyway, I, I ended up in um, in Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what was the name of the place? It's a well-known to us all. Okay. But, but I, I'll, I'll think of it maybe. <laughs> uh, but uh, in Jacksonville. Jacksonville. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How these things just come? You know, they, they 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 dog you, and all of a sudden there they are, and they, you know, they, and they've been baiting you all along. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so. And, and by the, that was several years later, uh, and I graduated from from uh, uh, Jacksonville, and uh, as a uh, F four U pilot, and uh, and so I got shipped from there, and so at that point, why Helen was was pregnant, and so she went home to Pittsburgh. And I came out to uh, Fort Worth, not Fort Worth, yeah, Fort Worth, Texas, and to Eagle Mountain Lake, which was a, a, a Navy base, and uh, was there for a bunch of a, a bunch of months anyway, in and out of whatever we were doing, and. Uh, I remember that the the day that uh, that I graduated from there, I got my orders from there. The the, the very the, the next day, why I had the, the war was on in in uh, or they dropped the bomb. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah. In Hiroshima? Yeah, Hirosh yeah and at Hiroshima and then, um, so uh, that, that vectored me in a whole new direction. Sure. So I got sent out to, uh, as a relief pilot, I guess, from, uh, from uh, to, to San Francisco and then to Okinawa and then to, we got to, where do we go? I, I got to, uh, I, I got to Okinawa and I, I was checking in there and he said, well, where do you want to, where do you want to go? I said, I have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, yeah, well, you can go to China or you can go to, uh, to Japan. And I said, well, I was, I might as well see the sights, so I'll, I'll go to Japan. And so they just changed the orders or whatever they did. They just put a note there and I was, I was gone. <laughs> and I ended up in, in Japan uh, as, a, as a pilot flying my airplane, I mean, at my airplane, that airplane, the F4U. F4U. And, uh, okay. Which was all engine. <laughs> It was. I mean, the, the, you you sat. You were this far from the from the propeller. Oh my gosh! And it was, it was just going around this way, you know, around this way. And I'm way. The engine was uh, a radial engine, so it went all the way back. Uh, you know, a considerable distance. In the and that was it. That was the beginning of the airplane. It was the engine. You know, right Goodness in front of you. And um, that was. Uh, that was it was quite a quite a quite a plane. I had a lot of scary things in that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I ended up uh, just doing time out there, flying around and uh, uh, putting in time because I had no place to go. And we so we would be uh, we'd go you know just I would take a plane or get a plane and go flying and then go go along the coast and then. I uh, went well, we up to Mount Fuji, flew around, and and uh, and then uh, uh, and then I flew up to Tokyo uh, at about oh fifty, sixty feet off the ground, just sighting, you know. Mm -hmm. And there was there was nobody there, nobody there, and it, that that blew, that blew. I said, Jesus, I want to get out of this thing somehow. But I mean, I was, that, you know, that was so impressive where you can see the way the, the fire, they firebomb the whole perimeter mm -hmm. and, and it was all wood buildings. And so the whole thing went up in a great, I, I didn't see the fire, but, but mm -hmm. you could see the, the rings of, sure. uh, the, uh, well, anyway. And on the way out of out of when we got sent out, we got sent home. Excuse me. Uh, they flew the the, the 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 transport plane that was taking us flew us right over Hiroshima, mm. and uh, it was just this great circle. I can't tell you how big it was, but it was very large. And it was that's where everything had gone up, 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 and out. And uh, that's amazing. And that that was. I said, "Well, I'm glad I'm going home. And I didn't get killed, you yeah. know." So we went back to um, went back to Los Angeles, and uh, the 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 the. the, the uh, what, 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 not, not uh, the, 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 these were people who met you uh, from, uh, what, I'll think of it, okay. okay. But they met me and he, uh, as we got off the boat, and he just said, you know, blah, 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 and he said this and that and the other thing. And uh, uh, he said, well, I'll send, we'll send uh, a telegram to your wife. Mm -hmm. So that's what their function was, Red, not Red Cross, but like the Red Cross. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was a Red Cross. Anyway, so that's when uh, I knew, I, you know, I was, I was on the way home. You were on the way home? Sometime. Sure. Yeah. So that's when it all, all the things shifted back <laughs> to the east. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, and 
and I and, oh so I got back you know I got back to to uh, to New York area and so what are you going to do well they, nobody needed a pilot yeah they they were in an excess and uh, uh, but they so anyway uh, uh, so I was looking for stuff to do, and I was doing music all along through college and the rest. So I, I uh, hung out, and my brother was also in there, mm -hmm. and he had uh, he had been with the, uh, the, the the Glenn Miller band when they went overseas. Wow, the orchestra and uh, and and well. Anyway, so there we were. Anyway, and so uh, uh, we we kind of helped each other out, I think, and uh, got. Uh, uh, but I was still I had no job, and uh, and no no real prospects <laughs> because you know freelance music is you know you got to you got to get lucky uh -huh. and, and just happen to hit the right people or the right situations and so that went on and uh, I, I got involved with a, a number of different musical things going on there and I can't uh, you probably don't need to hear all of that it probably would run on forever but uh, please give us please give us an overview or some some of the places you played and well well, that that was well. After uh, so, then t after I bumped into s some people who needed a uh, needed another. S a, 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 they had a court. They had a, a trio. It was a quartet, really. But the the boy, what the boy was, uh, one of the boys was was leaving there to. Okay. Take a job or do something, and so I I joined that group, and rehearsed with them, and you know did all kinds of things. And, and they had a manager who was was effective, mm -hmm. and he got us he got us gigs with uh, for for commercials. Okay. For so commercial so, jingles. Yeah, jingles. Okay. And that so. whole jingle scene became heavy going. And sure. I was living. I was living up in North, in Westchester County, which was a, an hour or so mm -hmm. out of town. And, uh, uh, and uh, meanwhile, Helen had a, a baby or two. I, I don't know, I forget now. <laughs> but, uh, uh, and, but anyway, that went on and I got, got mm -hmm. lucky and got in some of the connections that we got going and, and did and then that branched out to where my brother was doing r recording and he was working around as a, as a conductor mm -hmm. and a ranger mm -hmm. and uh, so he 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 got going with Mitch Miller and and uh, and Charlie Grion and some those guys who were all producers and so uh, and he was a very good arranger just the best better than anybody I ever know mm -hmm. yeah and he and he so he moved out here eventually too uh, and and he came out on a on an exchange with some uh, guy who was going to he was going to England for a year or something so he moved into that house and uh, and then from there why he got going with the uh, uh, with the Portland Youth Symphony, mm -hmm. and then from that, way, the people at the Youth Symphony, I mean, the people, well, the people at the symphony, mm -hmm. uh, uh, found out about him and had him come out and do some stuff, and uh, and next thing I know, why uh, he's working for the symphony. That's amazing. Yeah, and. Uh, that was a great ride, and then, and then so and then he called me and he said, "Come on out because I can use something," you know. And I, you know, I'm I'm struggling, still trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing, and uh, so that's when we came out here. Sure. And 
and he had, you know, I was to take the take the the chorus, uh, the singers, mm -hmm. and, and do whatever was necessary for to to rehearse them and carry on, and that blended into the starting of all of right. this. So there was a lot of yin and yang here, uh, but it, you know, they're all it got into the mix. It was a pretty rich mix. Yeah. Do you remember any of the companies you were doing jingles for? Oh, sure. Fry the Friendly Skies of United. Okay. That was one of the, well, that one paid a lot of bills. <laughs> and then we had a bunch of beer commercials, which were also ran in number of cities. And you were paid by the, oh, okay. the rate of, the going rate for X number of cities okay. or whatever it is. So uh, those were the, and those were residuals. They just kind of came free, you know. And uh, we were so we started to make some respectable money. Sure. And uh, uh, and were you were you writing the songs yourself, or were no, they give they just were well, you just no, playing them? Well, no, no, I I didn't write. Uh, I may have done a couple, but most of them were other people had created them, mm -hmm. and we they called. Uh, you know, I, I was one of their the people that work in that group. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, we, we did that, we did, uh, uh, oh boy. I don't know, we did some automobile commercials sure. and, and some beer, a lot of beer commercials. Uh, and then anyway, so all of this was, made a pretty good ride. And uh, we made considerable bucks and uh, so when we left, uh, when I left there to come out here, why I uh, accumulated uh, uh, some money. Mm -hmm. So we were, uh, we, we were. That wasn't a factor. We were just. Norman says, "Come on out." So let's go out. You know sure. that kind of thing. And oh, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but we did. We were here, and then that's when we got connected and um, all the grape stuff was going on in the east too mm -hmm. that I was part of mm -hmm. but that was just strictly uh, uh, s secondary really uh, but um, and in, in the same time why uh, I uh, the, the the principal of the school where uh, our kids had, were going uh, he said C -c why don't you come out here and uh, I said, well, what do you want me to do? He says, well, teach music. And I said, okay. <laughs> and he said, well, do you know what to do? Mm -hmm. And uh, I knew what to do because I've been working with their, their kids in the school mm -hmm. doing, doing stuff and uh, all, all kinds of stuff, choral and otherwise. Mm -hmm. But um, so that, that worked. Um, so that transition when when we uh, and, and oh, about that time uh, uh, New York was going down and uh, Chicago was coming up for jingles and L.A. was coming oh, up. Oh really? And uh, some some down some down in uh, oh, Nashville. 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 Uh, that they were all coming to life with with jingles and with this and that. And the so that that whole thing kind of was dissipating. Okay. You know, we, we still, you know, we had a, a couple of things that went on, but uh, uh, and Cheerios and uh, <laughs> uh, what, I don't know. <laughs> I don't Cheerios? Know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, uh, we had a, had one, one jingle that we, uh, 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 an account called Baggies. And uh, it was, some, it was a, a, a registered situation. And but, uh, we got in to do the jingle, and the thing was, it was the, the text of it was, don't wrap it, bag it with baggies. And it just was so hyperbolic. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this all about? <laughs> and uh, anyway, so the, all that is prefaced to coming out here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, all right. Jimmy, there was a time, you told me once, where you were coming across the country with another musician and you played different places. Oh, yeah, well that was, I was with the, the, the it was the Glenn Miller Band. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, well, when they came back, well, Glenn was gone because he, he went down in the, in the drink. 
mm. and in the English Channel somewhere. And uh, but the band went on, and they had uh, one of the one of the guys that was in the original uh, band in in uh, in New York mm. uh, took over, and uh, Tex Benneke was his name, and he. Uh, he, you know, we had records and... But didn't you go on a tour? Oh, yeah. You know, one-nighters. Uh, boy, uh, that was... What is the one-nighter? Oh, what's a one-nighter? Yeah. Well, you, you... Well, it depends on where you are, but it depends on how far you have to go. But, but uh, uh, you, you did the, you did the, the gig, the, the, or if, if you were there for a couple of days, okay. Mm -hmm. that, that's, over the place, and they went from coast to coast, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, and I was in, in a, a quartet, singing quartet. Mm -hmm. I wasn't playing, and uh, so we were the Moonlight Serenaders. That was the name of the band or the quartet. That was the name. Well, we were the Serenaders, yeah. But the the, the Moonlight Serenade was was his theme song, mm -hmm. uh, and it was. Uh, well respected over many years. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, um, yeah. So we did a bunch of one-nighters, and that was yeah more more traveling. And uh, you get on a bus and go to the next town, and then mm -hmm. another. Wow. Yeah. Uh, occasionally we'd fly to the, the, the next location, mm -hmm. uh, and I know that. Uh, uh, but uh, so, so that that ended up being um, uh, the the best part of a of a of a year on the road, mm -hmm. and Helen was home with with babies, and uh, and uh, so that, that it was kind of a kind of a crazy year, you know. It was all right, but uh, uh, and I, we got back to. Uh, when we got back east from coming out, out the, we were in um, uh, Pawtucket, Rhode Island, or someplace like that. And uh, I remember uh, going up to Tex and just say, say I, I, Tex, I want to go home. And he said, okay. So, you know, we, we got another guy to come in and in my place mm -hmm. and the band went on you know but I came home and uh, stayed home you know, so that ended that and that put, put it all back in the east mm -hmm. and whatever we we're doing with it we had to survive and that's when Norman uh, was uh, he was uh, he, he had taken over uh, had been invited to conduct the Westchester Symphony, mm -hmm. and he did that. And he, that's when he met this guy from the who was out someplace out that way. And he said, "Hey, well, hey, why don't you come out here this this summer or this fall?" So that's when he came out. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, um, well, like that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember when you, you mentioned growing grapes in New York, do you yeah. remember how you learned how to grow grapes? Was, did you, was it something you just sort of knew how to do, or? Oh, well, I was, uh, that's when I met uh, Dr. Frank, Constantine, mm -hmm. uh, but, and, and the, uh, I remember, I said, well, I, can, can, I want to get some, some, some grapes, some, some plants from you. And he said, you come and see me. That was all he, he said, you come and see me. And when we got out there, when I got out there to come and see him, why, um, he, he put me to work uh, <laughs> doing vineyard work mm -hmm. in, in, right, in the building. You know, he said, well, you, you need to know this. <laughs> you know, so, uh, so we soldiered on and, uh, and that, that's how that developed. But uh, so I, uh, and I, uh, I had, uh, I don't know what grapes I had. I can't tell you, I, but they were not, uh, not stand out, I don't think. Mm -hmm. I, 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 couldn't, I, I couldn't grow, I couldn't grow Chardonnay. It was just the, the season was too short or something. It was just, it was uh, cold, too cold or whatever it was. And 
so uh, I gave that up but, and planted something else. But uh, we were talking about 10 plants, 20 mm -hmm. plants, 30 plants, whatever, but not, not much. But uh, that's, that's, where that, uh, that's where that started, was the, the trips to the Bronx, the Bronx market to buy the Petty Sarah's from sure. California. <laughs> <laughs> And when you started here, did you have any idea that it would eventually be the size that it is now? No. Well, actually, we, what we did was we bought, we bought. Uh, well, we were able to buy this chunk of land up here, mm -hmm. and so we put it in. It was put it in Christmas trees down there, mm -hmm. and all the way across, and uh, up up at this end where we started some grapes, and. Um, more than that, it was just this year, next year, whatever it is. It, but uh, uh, and, and the Christmas trees we, we sold and, until the, the last time on that was when the guy ran off with all that money. And uh, so Helen said, I think we can forget Christmas trees, <laughs> you know, they, they are not doing us any good favors. Um, and, uh, well. So that all just kind of did a little of this, a little of that, mm -hmm. and gradually got, and I was, I got grapes from uh, Souverain. Souverain? Cuttings from them? Yeah. Or plants? Yeah, pla I, I don't know, but I remember going down there, mm -hmm. driving in to see this. Uh, the, the, that would have been in the 80s, early 80s. Yeah. So, and... Yeah. I don't know, that name just jumped out. So, Jim, you have a winery in your basement. Yeah. Here? Yeah. Oh, now? Yeah. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You make a little wine, I guess. Yeah. Tell, tell us about yeah. that. Yeah, no, this was this was just uh, an amateur to try to get something that, that would be potable. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, so, you know, I... I and Adam took over, and he, he came quite methodical about it. And he and, and Jenna went to, um, uh, where's the place where they teach grapes? Temecula? Temecula. They did a, a couple of seasons there, and, and just, just to get acquainted. I mean, they were, they were brand new out here, and they just were grabbing at straws to figure out what was that was, that was going to be. And, uh, uh, so uh, they they learn a bunch of stuff, and uh, it was helpful. He's he's more into the uh, well. He, he'd rather make wine than than grow wine. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, and you seem to be on the you seem to prefer the growing part of things. Well, that's what I did. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, and we we had our, our we had our little wine club out here that we meet uh, in the fall or something, and they would come and get grapes, take them off, and they're still doing that. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, we got down to a, three or four guys that are they're fairly consistent. They come out here and, and pick the grapes for themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that's always a good time because they they they, they bring what they've made mm -hmm. and uh, and and food to go with it. And so it's it's it becomes quite social, and that's that's okay. And we have enough grapes to go around, I think. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so what does it what does it mean to you to have? Grapes you create turn into wine that people are enjoying all over the all over the place. Uh, not so much. Uh, it, 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 it's not. Uh, I'm not hanging on to those those tabs. I mean, the the wine goes and it goes to all kinds of places. Mm -hmm. Talk to Rob about that. <laughs> <you know? laughs> it goes way over to the East Coast and and down south and you know it goes around mm -hmm. and. Uh, and that's fine. I, I just know that you know. With, well, with 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 Rob, you know, we could, you have X number of barrels that go to wherever it is, and and then you have some 
Uh, you don't have bootleg stuff, do you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so, you know, that, that uh, it got to be more mechanical, I think, mm -hmm. than emotional. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, uh, I'm trying to think of the, the uh, one, when Penner, Lynn. Lynn Penner Ash. Yeah, well, Lynn. Uh -huh. There was a Lynn Penner. Yeah. Then, and, but she was over here at. Uh, when she was at Rex Hill? Yeah. Rex Hill. Yeah. And she was there for a, a bunch of years, and, and she was head winemaker. Mm -hmm. And I, I, would, I remember taking some. some um, uh, I have one bottle of it still that they made over at. At, uh, at Lynn's. Oh, the 85? Was the 85? I think so. Yeah, that was a big... Uh, yeah. And, uh, but then she... I remember we were over there one afternoon, and it was... Uh, and it was uh, it's when... Uh, what, what, who was the name of the guy? Oh, um, Paul Hart? Paul Hart. Paul Hart, right. Uh, he was... Um, he, he was... He was in charge, but... Uh, Lynn was the, the winemaker, and I remember we were over there, and there was a, a, some sort of a, a, a meeting, or not a, a, a field day kind of thing, and, it, and uh, I was just sitting there w with, uh, with Helen, and uh, Lynn came, came over, and she stood right in front of us, and he said, guess what? I said, I don't know. She says, I'm pregnant. <laughs> and that was her first baby. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and now that baby has is is grown up and graduated from um, the, the place up up, up up in Washington, someplace. I can't. Mm -hmm. It's a, 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 a U Dub or Eastern Washington? Or no, right in, in Seattle. No, no, not Seattle. That is outside. Uh -huh. uh, anyway, uh, anyway, that for that. But uh, so that bottle, uh, we still have that bottle of wine. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, I'm, I don't know whether I'm loath to open it or just uh, should drink it down and <laughs> remember. <laughs> uh, but uh, it was it was good. Uh, let's see. Well, you want you had some other question, and I. Uh, this is most of the questions I have, and I don't want to. I don't want to overstay our welcome here. So, uh, is no. there anything else you'd like to talk about? Anything else you can think of that needs to be on tape? Oh no, <laughs> not particularly. Um, no, not, it's not quite really. a, quite a career or careers that you've had. Yeah, we we, yeah, it was busy. Oh, I think. <laughs> Here we are. Seems like it must have been. <laughs> yeah. We were running around. Are you having okay. something? Well, here's to all you good people. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Happy, Happy birthday to me. Uh, bubbly. The fruits of your labors. <laughs> ah.